people on the SJW were and the woke ladder, if people on their side, if they go against white people, if they go against males, then they're seen as some kind of super being in those people's eyes. And now that it's coming into games and everything else, you do see people saying, oh, I don't want politics, I don't want this, I don't want that in my films, in my uh, comics or my games or whatever. They've always been in there. But they've always been used to mock that current situation of what was happening in their time. Perfect example is Robocop. All you need to look at that, that just makes how absurd politics was. But you get people who are saying, well, Robocop had politics in it, uh, look at this, uh, you're this, you're that. And then you're like, whoa, 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 whoa. Calm your tits. Look what's going on. And in Robocop, Robocop is a mockery of everything that America was in the 80s. Excess, all of this kind of stuff, you know, like Wall Street and all that. That's exactly what it was. And Robocop took the piss out of it and they just didn't realise it. But the younger ones who are growing up now, the ones uh, like this person we're going to talk about now, when they go about it and they're like, ha, if they don't like it, then go play something else. Go watch something else then. People don't want that sort of stuff. They don't want to choose sides in their entertainment. It's called entertainment for a reason. Because you can just sit down, play the game, watch it, read it, and be taken away from the real life things that are currently going on. That's why it's called entertainment. It's there to entertain. So this is what we got. World of Warcraft, Shadowlands novel author, Madeline Rox, or Rue, whatever her name is, don't really care, just call her Maddie, mocks fans in response to discovery of racist, anti-white, anti-male tweets. Madeline, the author of the official Blizzard World of Warcraft novel, Shadow Rising, has met fans' concerns over her recently rediscovered the history of anti-white, anti-male tweets with mockery and dismissal. September 29th, a user on the popular World of Warcraft forum, MMO Champion, opened a new thread titled World of Warcraft novel writer Maddie is a pretty interesting Twitter history, wherein they shared a collage that featured several hateful tweets that she has made since 2016. The tweets, which were originally posted between 2016 and August 2020, are filled with anti-white and male rhetoric, such as an order from her, from her telling white men to get your shit in order. We got a few of them here, so, oh white men, are you sad, are you impotent, are you desperate for validation you don't deserve, dear white men, get your stuff in order, then you got, you know, white people must be stopped, congrats ugly white men, Mad Max Fury Road is now our immediate future, don't know how Mad Max Fury Road is in the immediate future, because, well, that was a wasteland, we don't live in a wasteland, not yet anyway, then you got, you know, head here. Ted Bundy wasn't special or smart, he was just white. Things I do not want this election cycle, old white man energy. Well, sadly, that's going to be uh, the two uh, prospects you got going forward as well. You got Biden or you got Trump. Written by a white dude, sh shocking. There's a real simple solution, go play something else. See, she's saying that there, well, can't she go and write something else, which people don't want to see this kind of stuff in? And it was interesting between, obviously you say there, to the collage claims that she was hired by Blizzard due to her relation to Activision, Blizzard's senior vice president of human resources, JD Rooks, or whatever her name is, and that's why it is there. This appears to be nothing more than conjecture on the part of the original poster, as there appears to be no connection between the two employees aside from a coincidental last name. Yeah, but it's not exactly a common name. Well, not here in the UK anyway. Is it common in America or Canada or anywhere else? Please let me know below. As fans outraged towards her, all these tweets began to build, she eventually took notice of the image in question and sarcastically pushed back against the aforementioned connection. She responded to a tweet from Bungie test team leader Taylor Bennett who wrote, Till I am Maddie's wife and husband. Reading that today made me cackle with diabolical joy. Till my dad, who doesn't know what Warcraft is and lives in Minnesota, works at Blizzard. You got that one there. But then you got, uh, when asked by a fan how these items came up in conversation, she dismissively described the backlash against her as some chuds are on the saddest investigation of my life because Blizzard hiring me hurt their fifis. It's people like her who, they want to go around and they want to say what they think is best. She's the type of person as well that if you don't agree with her opinions, then she will actively attack you. 
But then, obviously, you've got people who are sticking up for her and everything else. And again, these are the ones who are like, oh, they get so twisted over your tweets. Why? Ha, ha, ha. Then they laugh. But then, they're the same type of person. If you have a difference of opinion to them, oh, that's it. How dare you do that? They want to try and destroy your life. Again, it's, it's really funny because that's just how sad those people are. This is the one that I liked as well, though. So you got Lucas. Does Blizzard and, and Warcraft approve of Madeline's behavior? This is literally disgraceful and you shouldn't hire violent, hateful people like her. Then you got someone else. No wonder as to why World of Warcraft has gone to shit when they have people like her working on it. Fix the problem. But then you had the Metal Ninja. And the Metal Ninja, he possibly done the best tweet, which could have gone great for him. Hey Blizzard, you know, all of them, you know, ATVI and all them, thought you were against sexism and racism. Judging from your public comments posted by her, that is clearly not the case. And with that, Blizzard actually came out in the last couple of months with tweets saying they're against racism, they're against sexism, they're against all these isms and everything else, and their place of work is not for it. This show's different. And to be honest with you, Blizzard haven't actually come back, so I've tried looking, and if anyone can find out a recent tweet to these from Blizzard, please let me know in the comments. But when you see that they're actually allowing this to continue, and they're not reprimanding her, that just goes to show that the people in Blizzard, they all have the same outlook as her. Because if they didn't, they would have either uh, you know reprimanded her, got rid of her, or whatever. You know, but again, no, it's just sad to see that this kind of thing does go on in the world. And it does need to be stopped 100%. But you need people like her to be held accountable for their actions. Because you seeing this, it's just going to make people think it's okay. That they can carry on doing it. That's exactly what's going to happen, and it's sad to see. If you are new to the channel, please like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell for future updates, and I'll see each and every one of you in the next video.